we think it's so important to have dignity in the process uh, for Christmas giving. And so we we're so excited this year to again have Christmas of Hope. And so parents can come, they can shop here for their children, they can wrap their gifts, and then they can take them home and put them under the tree. Uh, last year we had over 350 families a part of this. We're expecting a lot more than that this year. And we're just so excited about parents getting to have gifts for their children. We have personal shoppers that use a shopping cart. The mom picks the gift per child, the age and the uh, gender. And so we have personal shopping for the moms. Or dads. Or, or dads. dads. Or guardians. <laughs> Grandmas, grandpas. That's right. Yeah. So uh, last year, to give you an idea of our needs, last year, as Brad said, we had, gosh, about 600 kids that were shopped for here. That's about a 5,000, or 5,000 gifts. That's a lot. And so we're still collecting gifts. And so if you'd like to donate, if you're out there and you'd like to donate to some of these families that still need a good Christmas, you know, we could use gifts, especially for older kids. And we could all, cash always works. Uh, we have good buying power. We know exactly what we need to purchase. And so there's still some needs to fill these shelves up when the shelves go down after our first open day. So please consider us. Thank you. And the one thing I want to leave you with is this. You know that warm feeling you get when you get to give something and you see somebody's face light up? We want to pass that along to parents or guardians. So help us be a part of this so that we can make parents and guardians make a kid's Christmas happen this year.